I am God. I'm Leon C Jam, 91.5 FM, Windsor. <laughs> CJM. Na klubu Valnoj postaji CJAM 91.5 FM. 虽然这当中百分之九十五的信息其实和你没有任何的关系. Greetings, 6.03 PM, according to the Sync Master 710N digital chronometer. Deep here within the smelly, smelly, stinky west side. Bowels, I guess you could call this place. This is the bowels. It definitely is the bowels. Yes, of the uh, C Jam, or the, excuse me, the C A W. C Jam 91.5 FM. You're listening to the Josh Bryant Show. It's all about hip hop, break, soul, funk, new and old here every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. It was pretty coincidental, actually. I was, uh, uh, studying English lit here, and I needed a job, and uh, I got accepted for work study. And I'd always kind of been aware of CGM, but I was, wasn't really an active volunteer or anything. And uh, I found on the work study list a position available at CGM for uh, just doing data entry and things like that. So I uh, came down and uh, applied, and Christian Gagne got me a job, and. Uh, I just worked my way through from there. Well, I just heard about CGM right before I got into university, and I've always been really interested in music, but I just I never thought about radio. So I decided to volunteer. I was a volunteer at first, and I got my own show, and it was just the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Well, actually, it was a, a friend of mine. He had a program here uh, with OPERG, I, o, o, was it Ontario Public Interest Research Group, mm -hmm. called Manufacturing Dissent, and it was an activist radio. And it kind of drew me because there were so few venues who could actually put out your own point of view and it sounded like a really interesting thing to do. I just turned 30 this past December so uh, I guess I was maybe 20. Uh, I, I came in here with some friends who were uh, a band trying to promote themselves and then uh, I was like acting as their manager and uh, I started hamming it up on the uh, on the microphones if you can imagine that and uh, Next thing you know, uh, the guy who was doing the earwax show then, Bo Alchemade is his name, really lovely guy, uh, asked me if, if I wouldn't mind co-hosting the show with him. And it's funny, I was really kind of worried about it because I uh, wasn't really a punk rocker when I was 19 or 20 years old. I, uh, I did like rock music, but then, uh, I don't know, you know, I get, you get kind of just chose me really did punk rock. I was visiting someone that had a show and the program director was kind of running around scattered and was complaining that like uh, one of the jocks wasn't going to be on the show right after this person. And so I was just heckling him and I was like saying, you know, what's the deal? Like people are not showing up. What are you trying to give me a show or something? And he just turned around and said, would you be into that? I was like, yeah. And he's like, come down next week then. And I was like, whoa. I couldn't even believe that, like, you know, just I was just playing around and like and that actually was the beginning. And a week later, I came down, I trained, and they were like, you're on right after this CD and <laughs> push this button, push that button, and push this button. CGM was founded in 1977. Before that, it was CSRW, a carrier current AM station. On November 14, 1983, CJAM became a low-power FM station located at 91.5 on the FM dial. From 1983 through to 1996, CJAM broadcasted at 50 watts with a listening range of downtown Windsor and even Detroit, Michigan with a strong enough receiver. In 1996, CJAM's power was increased to 500 watts, allowing the programming to be heard clearly in all sections of Windsor and Essex County. In spring of 1992, the University Student Center, which included CJAM's home, was to be extensively renovated. CJAM moved to its temporary facilities, a rented trailer located in the front of Letty Library, where it stayed for over a year. CJAM received some of its funding from listener contributions, grants, and a small amount of advertising. 
but most of its revenue comes from an annual pledge drive, as is the case with most campus community radio stations in Canada. Gym volunteers are a very eclectic group of people. They're very special, I guess is a good way of putting it. And, uh, and they're people who, for the most part, have never found a place in pop culture, who have never been able to identify with the things they hear on the radio, or maybe they've just never been able to believe what we're told on, on major news media, because a lot of it's unbelievable. A lot of it is prepackaged. You, you watch one newscast and then realize that the other three have almost the same wording. I read one news story in a newspaper, and then you look on the internet to other newspapers, maybe, and you find that they're all they're all reporting the same thing, word for word. So, you know, CJM volunteers are the kind of people that have always been critical thinkers, and maybe have been, I don't want to use the word outcast necessarily, but to the fringe of pop culture and society, and, uh, and they're drawn to us because of that. And then, and you know, and they're the people that care. They are the center of of the anti-war activism. They are the center of the, the animal rights activism and the um, just in general fighting against the mainstream um, because if we all do what we're told according to the mainstream then where is individualism left? Okay. I, I, I it's funny, I always see myself fit. Yeah, I, you are a bit of an outcast, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's a bit of a loner. A bit of a rebel. But, um, no, I, yeah, I had a job in Toronto and I, when my show was on Friday nights at 10, I'd get done work at like 5 and then zoom down the 401 to get here for like 10.15, yeah, or 9.45, you know, I'd be late but Bo would be here to start it off and then I'd come in still wearing my suit and tie and jacket and like doing a punk rock show. <laughs> That is what you call a fade. That's a fade. <laughs> That's the technical term. Sadly, it's not too glad. Every, every 15 minutes or so, you break in on the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, we don't talk too much. People think it's a party and that's not. It's not like, we're on the radio. It's just like, we're on the radio. Oh, yeah. things that drove me nuts about commercial radio are the reasons that CJAM exists in the first place. It's all about representing the underrepresented. You are now listening to CJAM in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, FM. We are the sauce on your spaghetti. C-Jam is great, C-Jam is great, C-Jam is great, it's the best radio station in the world, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. C-Jam is great, it's the best radio station in the world, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. It's the best radio station in the world, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. The campus community radio in general and C-Jam does what nobody else does. The reason nobody else does it is not because it's not good. The reason we play the music we, we do and nobody else does not because it's not good music and same with the talk, it's because it doesn't make money. Money, if money entered the equation, I, I definitely, it definitely wouldn't be the same. This is like the last uh, freestanding radio on the FM dial, definitely. I would love to think the CJM will be around forever doing what it's doing. I know things are changing a lot now with the, the, the satellite radio, um, but you know, there, there's always going to be a place for local community programming um, and for programming um, that, that is in essence caring. And, uh, and activism in general. Um, regardless of what happens with satellite radio, they're always going to need, there's always going to be a need for a local voice. Um, I would love to see CGM you know, be here forever doing what we're doing, getting bigger and better all the time too, um, getting a bigger audience. And I think that's going to happen as more people get sick of the commercial garbage that's crammed down our throat every day that we're told to like this because it happens to be popular, but we're told that by the people who make money off it. So how can we ever believe them?
I do like my whiskey. I drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs>